teenager was shot and killed after a fight outside an arcade and gas station in North Charlotte today. It happened this afternoon along Beatty's Ford Road. Our veteran crime reporter Glenn Counts joins us live now. Glenn, this community has dealt with a lot of violence recently. This was the second homicide in North Charlotte in less than 24 hours. Well, Elsa, you're right about that. Uh, we're coming live to you from the Metro Division, and both of the murders that we're talking about occurred uh, a few miles up the road. As you mentioned, it's been a tough stretch here in this community, and especially when you consider the fact that uh, there was so much optimism and positive feelings about the fight to take on uh, structural racism and also the fight to take on police reform. Pictures like this have been seen way too often on Beatty's Ford Road lately. Shell casings litter the ground where 14-year-old Terion Jeter was murdered. As a mother, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, I really don't even have words. Myra Stewart has been fighting to turn Beatty's Ford around for years, working with the youth. Well, first of all, we're advocates for uh, stopping and ending any type of violence. Over the past two weeks, Beatty's Ford has seen its share from a peaceful block party on Sunday night, reduced to a shooting gallery with death and injuries, to last night's murder at Trinity and Beatty's Ford, to what happened this afternoon. Put the guns down. You know, why, 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 are we, why are we walking around with the guns anyway? Will Adams is with Team True Blue. He too has been working to curb violence in the community. While he's disappointed, he says this journey requires patience. All we can continue to do is continue to show love and support back into our community. We have to put that hope back into the community. Police, of course, are trying to solve this afternoon's case. Officers share the frustrations of the community. It's frustrating to not be there in time to prevent this. It's frustrating to say the same thing over and over again, which we are uh, here to help preserve life and to, to keep people safe and the streets safe. And when when we fall short, I think that that impacts every cop on the street. There was also another shooting victim in this case. He was rushed into emergency surgery. And as far as we know, he is doing OK. As far as the suspect is concerned, police have not arrested anyone. And uh, also, we know that they've got a lot of questions and not many answers at this point. Uh, Elsa, back to you. Gosh, Glenn, 14 years old. There really are no words. Thank you for that live report tonight. Over 180 shots were fired during a block party last week. People were hit by cars as they tried to get away. Kelly Miller, Jama Cassell, Christopher Gleaton, and Darion Stevenson died. Police have not made any arrests. The community on Beatty's Ford Road has been coming together, calling for change. Last night, a local activist pushed the city for accountability in last week's deadly shooting and for increased safety measures.